YouTubers, Mike Martins here with the Mike Martins channel. Guys, thanks for watching the channel. And guys, if you could subscribe to the channel, 19% of the people that watch this channel are subscribed to it. So if you could subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, guys, I did a video yesterday. I was driving around in my car, making a lot of noise around town. And um, it was about the property tax. Uh, buddy messaged me, or oh, Buddy spoke to me, and they spoke to his mom and his family like they watch me regularly and their property tax went up three hundred dollars per month and then the water disposal or sewage ta tax separate from the property tax is another tax a municipal tax so and this is in the city of brampton there's a lot of people live in brampton right so they're collecting a lot of property tax out there and for it to go up three hundred dollars a month i told people hey you know send me an email shoot me a message Send me a link. Let me know what you guys think. Since yesterday, I received about 85 emails in, 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 the, in the span of like less than 12 hours since I made that. Less, less than, than, man, I think less than 10 hours since I made that video. And I can't believe how many people have messaged me and told me that their property tax is going up. And their property tax assessment has gone up, even though their property values are dropping. Now, it, it's getting to a point now where I'm starting to think now, is it worth owning anything anymore at the point we're at? You're damned if you do because of the taxes and the cost of living and, and uh, you know, with Airbnb, Airbnb being dead and all these entrepreneurs trying to get into the housing market for the wrong reasons. And then competing with foreign invest in, investors parking their money in Canada. It's it's a tough pill to swallow. So you're damned if you do. You've got property tax. You've got uh, maintenance. You've got all kinds of crap. And if you own a condo, not only do you have property tax, and you got you got strata fees. you got all kinds of mafia fees. You're damned if you do. What else? Um, I guess upkeep of the property. Then if you have tenants, you got to worry about them screwing your place over and smashing everything in. And um, you're damned if you do. What else? Um... It's be the cost of the overhead is just becoming more and more expensive. My property taxes went up last year eight hundred dollars a year. Okay, so that's about sixty seventy bucks uh, a month. And okay, you know, as long as everybody else's taxes goes up the same, I mean, what am I going to do, right? But I'm in a position where I have three kids. They're using the schools. They're going to the pool. They're using the facilities. I'm using the roads to come to work. We don't have much of a city. We got two stoplights, right? But our, my taxes went up $800 a year. So now you're damned if you do. Like how do you... Now you're damned if you don't. Now you got the sideliners waiting to buy. I said, screw this. I ain't waiting for the end of the world to buy a place. I moved out of two, two, two and a half hours out of the big city. I moved to a small town. I created my own store, my own job, which is actually extremely busy today. I created my own thing and went my own path. Now, if I didn't buy my house for 260000 almost four, well, four years ago now, I'd be in a lot of trouble right now. I wouldn't be in a lot of trouble. I'd still have my business on the coast. I'd still be kind of muscling through and doing what I did for many years and, you know, paying the bills, keeping my taxes up to date, uh, you know, doing my thing, right? But... I'm left with this, with, I, I knew, and I've been, two years ago on the channel, I've been saying, they're just going to start raising property taxes and the cost of borrowing will keep going down. And they're just going to keep raising property tax and cities are going to have to raise property tax to offset the mass exodus of people, right? Brampton yet still hasn't, still hasn't uh, seen an exodus yet of people, right? But you are seeing uh, town, cities like Toronto, where you're seeing a mass exodus, Dublin, Ireland, Sydney, Melbourne, uh, Vancouver, Seattle, right? All of California, you're seeing a mass exodus of people leaving. Now, what's going to have to happen? And I said this before, they're going to have to raise the taxes on the people that stay there to help flip their budgets or help fill their coffers so they could actually keep that 
five, six layers of government and pensions and all that crap that they're, all these cities are on the hook for. So guys, I wanted to put this out there because you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. So where are, where are we? Like people on the sidelines thinking that this whole COVID thing looked like it was going to bring down the economy. It is somewhat massaging some of the numbers a bit, but housing hasn't budged in Canada much. But then there's parts of Australia where housing uh, is moving and it's going down. The price of housing is going down in, in, in the more expensive parts like Sydney, right? And the CBD. But it's still with uh, out of reach from the Australian, Canadian, UK, American proper. No one makes enough money. No one is making enough money to 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 pay these 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 overstretched mortgages. So now if you do get in or you find a deal, let's say you find a deal, let's say housing goes down 30%. But then they're just constantly going to raise taxes because the, the the municipalities were so comfortable collecting all these big property taxes from people because these big property values, now property values go down, they're going to have to reassess you. So when they reassess you, you're going to pay less property tax, but it doesn't work like that in Canada. In Canada, it's a little bit different. When property tax goes down, they just, uh, 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 when, when property values go down, they bring property tax levels higher. So you end up paying the same, if not more. So people's properties have been going down. So I've read so many emails, guys, thanks for the emails of people telling me that basically their property has gone down in value, like 80,000 or 70,000 since last year, but their property taxes went up because they raised the property tax percentage. So you see how they're getting, so you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. So where, where, where's the middle? Where is the middle for God's sakes? Where is the middle for the people, for the people in the middle? There's a lot of people in the middle right now. There's a lot of middle, like not sideliners, but people in the middle, like, um, do I move to another country? No, you can't. If you're a Canadian, there's a lot of countries you just can't move to. You just can't move. It's not like reverse Canada where all these people come into Canada and they're accepted with open arms, except the Portuguese though. But but if you are like trying to go somewhere as a... <laughs> right, yeah, right. Yeah. So I wanted to throw this out there. You damned if you do and you damned if you don't. What position is going on? Like, what is how I knew they were going to raise property tax. I knew they couldn't when the price of housing was going to go down. With and I kind of fathomed it on the side of the mass exodus causing an economic uh, downturn in the infrastructure declining because of the fact that no one's locally paying taxes. No one, no one locally is paying their wage tax because everybody's moving out, right? So are we going to see abandoned buildings littered everywhere? That restaurant that I covered in Toronto that's paying $213,000 a year for property tax. $213,000 a year for property tax. So I, I kind of wanted to throw that out there. 